Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'll be designing this uh, citrus juicer inside Katia V5 shape design. So you will be uh, learning some shape design tools such as sweep, some advanced functions such as uh, curvy smooth and trim and uh, stuff like that. So let's start with the design process. I'll close this for now. Let's go to start shape and go for generative shape design. Let's call this citrus user. All right, so we'll start with some basic sketches and to do that, I'll select X, Z explain, go for a sketch and I'll start with the ellipse from the origin. You can do an ellipse like this. Okay. After that, uh, since the ellipse is already selected, I'll go to constraint definition and define the semi major and semi minor axis. Right? Next, we'll define an axis on horizontal plane as well as vertical. So now I'm gonna get rid of this part, this part, and this part. I just need the first quadrant of the ellipse. Okay, now we'll define some more dimensions. So from this point to this axis, 65. And you cannot define this because it's a constraint from this side. So I'll delete this and then define this one as 65. I'll do the same to this one, delete this, and define a distance from this point to this one. 32.5 now after this your sketch won't be fully defined but uh, to fix that you can utilize auto constraint and you can select ellipse as the elements to constraint i can define this axis as the reference and this one as symmetry line so it will uh, make your sketch fully defined so from here you can exit go for a revolve give it a 360 and that's it. So now we have the top part of the juicer. We'll sketch the bottom part. And to do that, we have to do another sketch. And this time, let's go for YZ plane sketch. And here, I'm going to start with a let's change the view to shading with edges. And let's go for a profile from the origin. Let's do a simple profile like this. All right, let's define um, some distance. So from here to here, or else we can undo that. And let's go for a corner diffusion. This could be three. This point, this corner should be four. This could be 15. So I'll just double click and edit it to 15. Now we can define distance from here to here. And do that. From this edge. Sorry about that. From this edge to this edge. 22. I can also go from this age to this age 75. Let's go from this one to this one 8. And from the this point to this point vertical measure. So that is the sketch for the bottom part of Juicer. I can exit that now. And let's go for again a revolve 360 degree. And here we have to define the axis of rotation. So let's select this axis, press OK. Now we can hide our sketch one and sketch two. This is how the base and the user part is looking right now. 
now we need to do some uh, operation on this revolute one and to do that we'll start with some sketch so let's go for that explain sketch and I will start with a three-point curve like this another three-point like that and another three point like that let's go for definition 53.5 and the center of the arc from horizontal axis 24.5 center of the arc from vertical axis 30 okay I will track this point somewhere around here. Okay. Now I will define this arc. 90 radii. Select the center of the arc from the horizontal. 10.65. Just edit the value to 10.65. Now I will select this endpoint and this endpoint make them coincidence and then select arc 1 and arc 2 right click tangency. Now I will decrease the length of this arc and let's go for the third arc definition 10 mm radii the center point from horizontal axis 18 this end point and this end point coincidence this arc this arc are tangent all right so that's how our sketch looks i can reduce this a little bit like that and then i can exit the sketch command now we have our sketch and it consists of three different arcs so here comes a new tool inside Katia v5 which is called a uh, curve smooth and what it does is it basically um, makes uh, the curves smooth as the name suggests so since this consists of uh, three arcs and um, that means that it has two points where the tangency is happening so to make it uh, uh, smooth uh, tangent will utilize the smooth curve. So let's go for insert operation curve is smooth and select our sketch 3. I'll leave the value as default and press OK. So that's where the smooth curve is used. So maybe you have a number of uh, arcs going for tangent relation and then you have to do some profiling using that sketch so you can utilize the curve smooth all right now since our curve is smooth we can define a plane on this curve and to do that let's go for plane definition normal to curve and select our curve smooth and by default it will take the middle point of the curve i'll find that with that now on this plane i will do an sketch and to do that Let's go for a positioned sketch and we can select plane one reference and in the origin I will change this origin so right now if you can see this origin is over here I will change the origin so that it's lying on our curve smooth so let's go for curve intersection and the reference I will give the smooth curve smooth so now your origin will be on the curve smooth that's what we wanted press ok and here is the plane for our sketch so let's go for a simple sketch this time let's go for a three point arc from the origin that define its radius so let's go for radius definition 20 I'm gonna hide revolve to 
so that it's visible earlier. And then I can also define uh, this end point of the arc from this axis 10.9 and this one here drop off that should 19 now we have a problem and the uh, problem is not be like that say I'm going to delete this one this one also and let's manipulate it like this And then let's go for different from this 10.9 and from this point horizontal axis 19. Okay, next let's select this one and mirror it. Vertical axis will be like that. I will show my revolute to. And that's fine. If you want, you can reduce this one. Okay, let's leave it like that. Exit the sketch, and we'll get a, a sketch on service mode like that. So here we will utilize the sweep command with uh, explicit with reference surface. Select the profile as a sketch for guide curve as smooth surface smooth and press OK. So this is your sweep. Now once you do the sweep, you can hide your sketch for and hide your curve smooth. Now if you see your uh, sweep one, it has a edge coming in between this edge I'm talking about and this. This is small edge. So we, here we, we can utilize the fillet command to fillet those edges before uh, going for the circular pattern. So let's go for uh, edge fillet. Select the variable one. Uh, let's go for one mm radii object to fillet. I can select this edge, and it will automatically take two points. On the edge so one point is over here and the other point is over here now I want to change the uh, point so I'll go to this point and click over here and we have those two different points if you click on the points it will be uh, highlighted with orange color so let's say I'm going to change this point and do that I'm going to Replace this point with this point. Okay. I'll close this. Now we have our point, so I can give a different radii to this one. And I'll leave the radius one for this point and press OK. Confirm. So the, like that, you can utilize the variable fillet command to fillet this edge now I will create a circular pattern around this so let's go for insert advanced replication circular pattern let's go for a complete crown keep the instances to 10 reference element as z axis and the objects to pattern as edge fillet press ok to confirm now we have the all the circular pattern now we only thing that we have to do over here is remove the excess of using the trim command so let's go for a trim vision or you can say trim definition and select revolute one and edge fillet one now whatever is uh, changing the transparency that means that will be removed so I, I will utilize the other side to make sure I'm not removing what is needed. Okay, I'll press 
okay to confirm I remove the other side which I don't want I'll that and this is what we wanted this is the uh, trim operation is kind of uh, you have to visualize carefully what you are trimming so here I will add circular pattern also and let's go for other side other side once more other side and yeah okay so you have to visualize correctly what you are trimming and what you are not trimming using the using this option uh, that is the other side next element other side previous element all right very important feature inside Katia. So I think we have completed the model. Now all we can do is we can define a thick surface. So let's go for let's change it to let's go to start mechanical design part design and I will select my revolute to give it a thick surface okay no problem give it a 3 mm thickness okay i can hide my revolute to now okay so this is how it's looking after that we can define a fillet so let's go for a fillet i will utilize a right tangent fillet and faces to fillet I will say this one and the inside one which is basically the opposite and faces to remove I can select this one okay and you'll get a nice fillet like that try tangent fillet inside Katia after that we can do the same uh, we can define the uh, we can uh, define this some thickness so I'll select revolute one and instead of going for thick surface I will go for a closed surface and press instead of going for revolute one I can select trim one so that will take everything whatever operation we have done on the surface then let's hide the trim one so this is how it is looking right now okay then do one more fillet let's go for a normal edge fillet select this edge give it a constant radius Make sure you're selecting constant 5 mm. Give you okay. Nice. <clears throat> After that, we can do some uh, uh, sketch on this face to create a cutout. So let's go for select this face, go for a sketch and Let's go for a simple rectangle. Go for a center rectangle. And while the origin is on horizontal axis, I'll draw a rectangle like that. Let's define its dimension. So this could be two. Also, I can say that this one and this edge are tangency, and this one, this edge, and this curve is tangency. So that I can go for a fillet. I can say the corner. For a corner, zoom in a little bit. Select this endpoint. 0.5 this and this one 0.5 repeat the procedure to the other side as well 0.5 and 0.5 so that completes the sketch I can exit now 
and then I can go for a pocket. I'll take the default value because it doesn't matter. And then I can utilize the circular pattern tool to create a pattern with the cutout. So I'll select pocket one, go for a circular pattern for complete crown fences I can change to let's say 69 give the reference definition as red axis okay it will take few seconds to compute the cutout that's how it looks and I think we have completed the design if you want you can also give a fillet so let's go for Let's say we can do another fillet of 1 mm. So I'll go for edge fillet 1 mm constant and I will select this ones, these edges very carefully, only the outer edges. Let's go. Also, this one. one. And uh, make sure that you have 10 elements because we have uh, done the 10 circular pattern for this profile. And I'll keep the radius as 1 mm, press the OK to confirm. So that's how it looks. If I change the shading to shading with material, it looks more smooth and that wraps up the design. If you want, you can go to part, part body properties, change the color to orange, OK, and there you have your. I trust you, sir. You can go to tools and hide your all your planes. So this wraps up the design of the Citrus Juicer inside Katia V5. While doing this, we learn some advanced operations such as sweep, some tri tangent fillet, thick surface, close surface, some pattern operation, and very important curve is smooth. Also, we have done some trimming operation. So if you have any doubts with this video, feel free to comment down below and if you're watching this, please press the like button and subscribe if you're still watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace out.